<laughs> but you know, I wanted to play offensive. I wanted to score, to give passes, you know. Just play right back. Don't think too much. Right. I was striker, yeah. You were a striker, now right back. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Since the last time I did a player's way view, I haven't moved into the new place. Kai Havertz has officially become a member of the Chelsea squad, and Messi has said that he is going to stay at Barcelona and not leave, even though he's not happy about it. The absolute saints! What's happening, boys, and welcome to the 94-rated premium Thomas Mounier episode. He's not the only guy named Thomas on the Dortmund squad. We're going to feature a couple of his teammates in this episode. And the first thing I want to say to you guys on this Sunday is welcome back to a player's way view. It feels like it's been ages since I said that. We uploaded a couple FIFA 20... Uh, 20, 20. Twan. Uploaded a couple FIFA 21 videos a few days ago, some co-op stuff, you guys absolutely loved them. Uh, and I had mentioned yesterday, no upload yesterday, but I had mentioned on Friday uh, that uh, we were going to be alternating between FIFA 20 and then also 21 content. And I see some, I'm seeing some of these cards that are being put out this late into the game, and I'm seeing some people say, hey, you know what, like, th this is too crazy, we're getting too many crazy cards. I, I, you know, I dare I say it, this is the time when we just need to have the crazy cards. We need the 97 Harry Kane. By the way, if you guys want to see that as a standalone individual epi tomorrow, smash like on the video and I'll drop it. 97 rated Harry Kane episode, yeah, aka the big gen. We also got that 95 Artur, the transferred Juve Artur. Uh, looks like he's going for about 100,000 coins. The Icon Moments upgrade pack has returned for about 350k, and then the I Icon upgrade is there as well, so you have that stuff to grind. Got the 90 plus, the 94 plus team of the season. What the heck has happened since we left? So there's a 92 plus double upgrade, a 94 team of the season upgrade, and then a 90 plus upgrade. There just seems to be just crazy, crazy packs out right now, and uh, damn it, I, I would, I would make the argument like this is when all that sort of stuff needs to happen. But today, it is all about Thomas Mounier. So we're gonna take a look at his card. It is a 2,500. Doesn't exactly crack into the 2,600 club. 2,500 and change total in game stats. Uh, gets a very, very significant upgrade over. Wait a second. That's why people are saying we saved him from the gulag. He has. Okay, so that's why he's coming from the gulag. That's why he's been rescued from the Gulag. That's what it is. Okay, so it was the Dembele. Right, he, Dembele was in the vote, and that's why he won. That's why the 93 Summer Heat uh, Mounier never arrived as an SBC. Damn, dude. Summer Heat feels like it was ages ago. Okay, so this is... For all intents and purposes, the man that was rescued from the Gulag. His card is obviously 94 rated. The Summer Heat one was 93. That lost to Usman Dembele uh, ended up sending the 93 Summer Heat into the draft. So if you guys ever used the 93 Mounier, you would only ever be able to use him in the draft. And today, like I said, EA released him for an 81 rated SBC. Was going to do the Artur SBC, but I, I feel like some people don't know that this card, you know, if you got a Bundesliga squad, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a league near and dear to my heart. It returns in 13 days. Um, he is, uh, he's only an 80, 81 rated squad which is below 50,000 coins which is absolutely ridiculous gets himself a four star skill moves upgrade so he goes up to four star skill moves and a fun little thing about this card not only was he rescued from the gulag but his first ever card in ultimate team was actually a center forward for i believe bruges or ghent i'm forgetting which one uh, he played for but uh they converted him to right back because they didn't have enough players at that position and he was just a cracked overall guy. So uh, today we're going to look at the card. 87 acceleration, 97 sprint speed. He's got the Kai Havertz disease. 83 finishing, 89 shot power with 90 long shots. Has uh, has volleys to boot, has 92 attacking positioning. Uh, has ridiculous passing stats as well. The only thing is the free kick accuracy. Everything else is really, really good. And then we get to the dribbling stats. And while he has 99 ball control and then 99 dribbling, which is what the engine chem style gives him, he does have that balance which gets jacked off to 70 with the engine chem style and the agility goes up to 82. Defending stats are otherworldly, but we're not going to really try him as a defender. We're going to try him up top as a striker because it is summer, and we're going to harken back to some of those fun videos we did back in the day. Uh, 83 jumping, 99 stamina, 98 strength, and 84 aggression. Now, if you put together a Bundesliga squad fe uh, featuring Mounier, of course, you've got to put a couple of the other bully boys together, specifically the Dortmund Mad Lads, and we had a couple very, very nice value plays in terms of Mises Kitzel, uh, Mounier, and Delaney, who I think come in, I think under like 500,000 coins for if you, if you uh, count up the SBC prices for the lot of them. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to replace Arp and then we're going to have Erling Haaland and uh, and Mounier up top. So 6-3, ridiculous, uh, ridiculous card in terms of stats. And uh, we're going to get into a couple matches here. And we're going to see if he can harken back to some of those days at Bruges and Ghent and see if he can play striker. Match number one with Thomas Mounier, Alès. Oh, dude, the Chiellini links in. The Chiellini links to Artur. Is that, wait, is the Chiellini still available? Why am I suddenly having, like, a fascination with cards that are in, like, what is going on right now? How long is the Chiellini here for? Is it, Bla Blaise Matuidi, 
Wait, Chiellini's gone, huh? Wait, is Chiellini gone? Blaise Matuidi. Why is Chiellini gone? Let's put Blaise Matuidi as a center back next to uh, Boateng and then have Alaba as a right back. Okay, let's put Blaise Matuidi as a center back next to uh, Boateng and then have Alaba as a right back. Hey, by the way, congrats Erling on his first international goal for Norway. Oh, come on. Let's put Blaise Matuidi as a center back next to uh, Boateng and then have Alaba as a right back. Blizu! Blizu! All right, who do you give this to? Alaba, right? Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh, the body faint! The Thomas Mounier body faint. There is absolutely no conviction behind the shot. That was probably one of the lowest powered shots that I've ever experienced. And that's weird because he has like, what, 94, 95 shot power? Um, only has 83 finishing, so I don't know if that played any part in it. But like, look how weak that shot was. I feel like I powered that up quite enough. But I should say, the dribbling and the agility felt better than what his card stats advertise. So Thomas Mounier, uh, hearkening back to his club days. We got to know what club he played for. It was a Bruges. It was Club Bruges. He played striker for Bruges. Okay, and if you look at, if you go back and look at his FIFA 12 or I believe 13 card, uh... That bronze card was a I believe he was a center forward. You're gonna watch you watch okay, you're gonna watch all of it? Okay, copy that. There we go! Delaney Fellaini! The mad lad Delaney Fellaini! That was all Delaney. That was not Munier. Munier had a nice little finish there. We're going to dead fish there. But that was all Delaney Fellaini holding on to the ball and uh, botting off the defender. And a lot of you guys are probably asking yourselves, wait, what the hell? What are you getting so excited about in FIFA? Dude, we're, we're literally four weeks away from FIFA 21. Or I think actually we're a month. What is it? October 8th? I think it comes out October 8th. And then what we get early access like, what, 24 hours beforehand or something like that? It's been a minute since I actually played FIFA 20. So, you know, hey, give me it. GG. That's a good goal. Damn, dude. He absolutely just obliterated my drone bow thing. Is that a... Oh, my God. Is that a hattie for Thomas Mounier? Is he actually on a hat trick right now? How has he scored that? Thomas Mounier, go on, you absolute psychomaniac. You've got a nose for the goal. 75 pens. Doesn't matter what your pen rating is if you go to those way school of pens because it's going to come. Don't air this. You won't air this, right? Oh, no, no. We definitely air. We always wrong. air it no matter what we air. That's how we do so it, my friend. How? How does that actually go in? I literally did everything perfectly to defend that. How does that actually go in? What to say? What to say? He's a joke, mate. And that's why Ivan Perisic is 72 defending, because he can do stuff like that. He was 97. That is 97 sprint speed. Ah, but Van Dijk. Bro, Van Dijk's strength is just too much. Thomas Mounier! 4-4! It's not a victory, but damn it, it feels like one. Come on, boys. What is that? Is that did we score every goal with Thomas Mounier? His boy Erling Haaland, a.k.a. the Kygo U Flow King, goes up and hugs him. His Belgian compatriot, uh, Mrs. Kitzel, the perfect link, one of the best perfect links in FIFA in terms of value. That uh, Mrs. Kitzel SPC when it came out was about 150, 140,000 coins. And this Delaney, uh, sorry, this uh, Mounier together, uh, the both of them combined for, I think, just under 200, 210,000 coins. And the absolute mad lad, Thomas Mounier, 
goes ahead and he shows us what he is all about. Of course, he's got to get himself man of the match, even though we drew. Um, yeah, there he is. Thomas Monier goes ahead and gets himself the man of the match. Eight total attempts, four goals. Showcased a little bit of the brilliance. And to be honest with you, wasn't really taking this epi too seriously. This was just more of a fun epi to record. Um, given that it's just, it's an 81 rated squad. I think it's the cheapest, highest rated card that we've maybe ever had in any FIFA. Um, that's not named. Uh, the Benzema was, I think, dude, the Benzema, I think, was even a little bit more expensive. The Benzema was an 82 rated squad for a 92. And then this is an 81 rated squad for 91. So, uh, very, very cool uh, value. And for those of us that are still playing the game, for those of us that are still running Bundesliga sides, uh, a cheeky bit of fun with a, a guy that we just banged in four goals with. What else did he do? How many tackles? Hey, one out of three tackles, one. Erling is apparently the better defender of the two of them up top, but uh, a fun little card nonetheless. So, uh, you guys already know what it is. In terms of value at this stage in the game, it's a 5 out of 5. There's no question about it. In terms of on-the-pitch performance, we didn't play him as a defender, but I would imagine he's cracked based on the stats that he does have. Uh, as an attacker, he was fun to do. Uh, he was fun to use, so I will go ahead and I'll give him a 4 out of 5 in terms of uh, an Infinity Gauntlet score as well. So, perfect 5 out of 5. Just but anyway, my dudes, that is going to do it for the Mounier Players Wave View. Again, rescued him from the Gulag, an 81 rated SBC, cheap as chips, uh, and a fun little card to use, especially for the guys that are running the Bull Bundesliga sides or Belgium or whatever you're running. Uh, fun little card to use. And I think what I'll do is uh, tomorrow I'll have the co-op gameplay versus skills. And then we'll just rotate FIFA 20 and 21 gameplay until the game comes out. Uh, there's also going to be an opportunity to do something else. I, don't, I can't really say. We'll talk about it on stream tonight, but make sure to pop over on the uh, pop over on stream. We'll be uh, doing Fallout Guys, a little bit of Tony Hawk, and then maybe some FIFA to unlock that Harry Kane as well. But that's going to do it for the episode, yeah, boys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. For those of you guys tuning in at this stage in the game, you guys are the real ones. I appreciate you, uh, and hopefully, you guys have a great rest of your weekend. I'll catch you guys for Monday's episode. Yeah. Drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.